family welcome back to my channel awaken butterfly readings much love much love to my subscribers thank you for rocking your sisters as well as welcome new beers happen to be stopping by as you see i'm doing another reading on selena goldman's but not just selena i decided to do one with selena and um the artist that's known as the weekend okay <clears throat> Many of you um, have been seeing um, them, their pictures, you know, floating around, all right, on social media. Um, as you see, um, out of the guys she has been dating, okay, um, this is the one that seems to have caught, that has gotten her attention, okay? Now, let me real quick go back. As many of you noticed, I had uploaded a video yesterday, and it was basically I've set my attention on Selena Gomez. And the last card was Three of Water. Okay, this was the last card. And what I was picking up so much about Selena, and I was really so focused on, was the fact that she was trying to move on. Okay, um, you know. Um, those things, putting those things behind her, such as, you know, her past with Justin, let me just say that, you know, she loves Justin Bieber, but she's not in love with him anymore, and I still sense this strongly. She's moving forward, and that's the most important thing, okay? And that's pretty much what I was picking up the most, okay? It, was, it wasn't like it was a relationship reading with her in the weekend or anything. Um, I was just pretty much picking up on the fact that she's moving forward, all right? Putting those things that are in the past behind her, okay? And looking towards the future, focusing on herself and operating in self-love. Now, let me say this. I want to read this card one more time because other things that came out in this card, and it's interesting, when you do readings on people, other things come out because I've always said in my intentions, I see those things that are in the dark, bringing them out to the marvelous light. Let me just say that. And I also said in my intentions, I want to know what's presently going on. It may have been watching me. You notice I always say that. What's presently going on? Because it's a timeline with my readings, okay? Now, real quick, I want to read up on this card one more time. Now, I will be using my True Love deck, okay? Because I want to get an idea of, you know, I want a little more insight on Selena and her new uh, I'm going to say boyfriend because she has been seen with him a lot, okay? It seems like she's really, really feeling him. So I'm going to be using my true love deck to get a more insight of what's going on in that relationship, okay? How authentic it really is, okay? Anybody can put on a show, okay? I do play, play devil advocate. Anybody can put on a show, okay? Uh, I want to get an idea of being led by the spirit, um, how I think that how authentic that relationship really is, okay? Is the weekend sincere about her? Is she really sincere about him? What's really going on in that relationship? <clears throat> but this last card was really giving us more insight. Let me just say that. So let me read this one more time, family. It says a celebration, a wedding, graduation, or birth announcement. The need to have more fun. And I knew that she really needed to have some fun. You know, uh, she just had a birthday not, not too long ago, okay? Um, so I'm sure if she was doing some celebration, you know, uh, a couple of days back due to, her, due to the fact she had a birthday, okay? Spending some, you know, quality time with her family and friends and those that she's close to in her inner circle. So we know this right here. Now, check this out. I'm going to read this one more time. So, have ears to hear, family. Now, before I get started, everything I say is allegedly. I have to put that out there, okay? This, this protects my channel, as well as this is for entertainment purpose. Many of you know I'm led by the spirit, okay? So, with that being said, let's move forward. It's time for a celebration, wedding announcement of a pregnancy or birth and reunions are likely. Graduation or promotions are on the horizon. You need to have more fun. You're working too hard and must learn to relax. Throw a party, take a vacation. Additional meaning to this car, community, hospitality, entertainment, good fortune, and happy conclusion, okay? Now, sometimes we, okay, they have the gift of the spirit, 
and we do these videos, okay? Maybe you consider us as psychics. You know, sometimes we get so caught up in, you know, a certain feelings as far as things that we're picking up about, you know, people that we are, uh, shall I say, doing a reading on. But a lot of times we, we can miss other details, okay? Other messages, okay? We are not perfect. Nobody's perfect. But every day, you know, every day, the more we do this, the better we get. Please know that. And it's not my opinion. I'm just being led by the spirit. So that being said, sometimes, you know, there are things that you could overlook. Okay. It happens to the best of us. Okay. Now, what stood out to me, okay, when I look back on it, um, the pregnancy popped up. You say celebration, okay, and pregnancy, uh, announcement of a pregnancy. And I'm like, hmm, God, I know she's moving forward. And many of the cards spoke about change, okay, embracing change. And a lot of time when it comes to life changes, you know, big life event changes is getting a, a new house. You know, that could be a big life change. Um, becoming pregnant, that's a big life change. You know, you, you feel what I'm saying? Getting married, you know, a wedding announcement, you know, that's a big life change, you know. So I meditated on this sister and only time would tell family, only time would tell, okay. So let me just say that. But this car popped up for a reason. But the point I'm trying to make is when it says, um, wedding, I'm sorry, when it says um, announcement of pregnancy or birth, the key word is pregnancy because she doesn't have a child at all. We know this, but she wants a child and she is presently dating um, the artist that we know, which is Weekend, okay? She is dating him, okay? Now, I did tell many of you, you know, uh, I don't sense that she was, um, you know, real serious with anybody um, at this present time, but hey, nothing is set in stone, okay? Nothing is set in stone. What you were seeing was a timeline of how I was reading those cards, okay? It wasn't my opinion. You just seen a timeline, and that was and that's what I was going by. And I was pretty much seeing, I was pretty much picking on the fact that this was, was moving forward. Period. She was not looking back, okay? And her actions being showing that she's trying to move forward now. Let me just say that. So that being said. She has been seeing the weekend. Let me just say this real quick. It's a high possibility, okay? It's, I don't know, three days or three weeks, three months. I just say within three months. You might end up hearing something about a birth announcement, okay? Because this is something she wants, okay? She wants a baby. Let me just say that. And if she's really feeling deeply about him, if she really feel like he is the one for her, okay, which is her choice, because us ladies can change our minds. And maybe you know that. <clears throat> and if it's something that he wants with her, uh, I, I see, you know, it's a good chance this year. Many of you might hear about uh, Selena being pregnant this year. Okay? It's a good chance. Now, I'm through with that. I just wanted to share this with you because a lot of times we overlook things. And I'm sure maybe, maybe you probably overlooked this. Or maybe you didn't. Maybe you're wondering how come I overlooked it. Okay? So that's an error on my part, but at least this car popped up. The spirit realm knows all things, okay? Now, with that being said, let's get to this reading. This is the relationship reading right here. I'm setting my attentions in the present, in the present, okay? Being led by the spirit in the present. I'm setting my attention. I want to know. Is Selena, how do Selena feel about the weekend? How do the weekend feel about Selena? Is their relationship legit? And if so, what's presently going on in their relationship? Are there any issues? This is what we want to know because no relationship is perfect. Please know that. But if there are some underlying hidden issues, okay, I'm speaking, uh, not speaking, but I sit in my attentions. I want to know those things are in the dark, bring them out to the marvelous light, okay? Get a little insight in that relationship. What's present going on in the relationship of Selena and the weekend? 
what's presently going on in their relationship with Selena and the weekend. What's presently going on in relationship with Selena and the weekend? How do the weekend feel about Selena? How does Selena feel about the weekend? Is Selena personally happy? Is the weekend good for her? Is he good for her? Now I'm getting ready to stop real quick. Let me just say this also. Someone had asked me in my last reading, what about the weekend? Okay. And I was sensing that. I didn't know if he, if he was good for her. The only reason I said that was because I was sensing that, and I want to get this out the way real quick. I was sensing that he too was having some issues, okay, personal issues, as far as him too uh, dealing with um getting over who, whomever it was that he was last with, okay? It doesn't mean he's in love with them, but a lot of times it's hard for people to move on. But the, but notice, notice where Selena was as far as her trying to move on from her past, as far as trying to get over Justin, as well as the weekend, whomever he was with, he's trying to get over, you know, the lady that he was involved with, okay? Because, you know, you don't just get over people overnight. It don't happen like that. You know, time heals. But the point I'm trying to make is, look how they attract each other. You got two people in the same boat, but they come together on a common, you know, same situation, okay? And it pretty much, you know, sometimes you can attract people like that and you can help each other, okay? She she know his situation, he know her situation, but they still come together. They, they attract each other like that, you know? Um, So that's what I was picking up about him and I'm thinking you know but I didn't really you know uh, meditate strong on it but I was just wondering you know I don't know because I don't want her to be a third wheel but what I'm going to do is I'm going to let the spirit do the talking okay I want the spirit do the talking because I, I do you know operate on my intuitive gift of the spirit but still as a backup I want I want to see what the spirit has to say so have they say let go let God let's see what the spirit has to say okay because People do change, and maybe the fact that all this time, the weekend and Selena has been together, you know, the courtship, those a long time, you know, uh, he might have gotten to that place of, you know, healing from his past, like Selena has done, and his true focus, intention is strictly on her. This is what I really want for her, okay? But maybe he's there now. You know, guys and women are different. You know, women hold on to emotion longer than God. We're more emotional. They they can move on, you know, uh, the next day or whatever. We, we as women are the one who tends to hold on because we're very emotional. Guys are different. So that being said, this is what the Spirit has to say based on Selena and The weekend. So anyway, let's get with this reading. I was setting my attention in the present. I wanted to know <clears throat> what's presently going on in the relationship of Selena and the weekend. Since this is the guy she's currently setting her attention, her eyes on at this present moment. Is he good for her? Is she good for him? And they have any issues, if there are any underlying issues going on in that relationship. Okay, I see those things in the dark, bring them out to the marvelous light.
of our toga complete. All right, family, before I get started, once again, I want to thank you all for your love and support in my channel. Just the fact that you watch means a lot to me. I appreciate that. Please like, share, and subscribe. And please know I'm going to leave the comment section open. <clears throat> it's okay to agree to, and to disagree, but please disagree with love because I don't want to, you know, delete your comments because because you have a right to your opinions. And I do, you know, respect that. Um, so with that being said, okay, let's get to it. <clears throat> okay, family, you know, if you've been watching me, a lot of time my readings have timelines to them, so we're going to go from bottom to the top, okay, from right to left. Let's get to it, okay? I'm not going to make this video long. Let's get to it. And please know, this is not my opinion, okay? We are relying on the spirit, okay? I'm just going to interpret what these cards are saying. We have on, it's based on Selena and The Weeknd, their relationship, okay? The first card is, and the timeline is going here. All right, this is a timeline. The first card is upside down. Bring it right, bring it upward. It is commitment. Commitment. This is the lack of commitment, okay? Now, they might have commitment now, family. Keep it in mind, this is a timeline you're seeing. I have to say that. I don't want many of you to get confused. Follow the message. Follow the timeline. The lack of commitment starting off in that relationship, okay? It's upside down. This card is self-respect. Self-respect. This right here is showing the lack of self-respect. Okay? That's going on in that relationship. Okay? Even though I'm speaking about what's presently going on, it's a timeline here. So you have to follow the timeline. Because they've been together for quite some time. I don't know how long him or her been da uh, dating, but, you know, uh, it's a timeline, okay? Y'all know more than what I know. It's a timeline. The lack of self-respect, okay? So there has been some issues in that relationship. This is the weekend, shivery. This is the weekend putting it on strong, okay? Due to courtship, okay? He's bringing on shivery for Selena. See, somebody who got the flowers, you know, horse rides, probably out in the park, picnic, you name it. This is the weekend. Sexuality. 
this right here is healthy right here. This is healthy. He's doing the things that makes her feel good. Okay. He's not doing anything to make her feel insecure. Okay. So like I said, follow the timeline. Right here, you know, um, he don't really have to say I love you. He's showing it. Okay. And this right here can make a woman feel good, feel beautiful, and feel sexual. Okay. He's definitely attracted to her. Let me just say that. And she is attracted to him. Okay. So when it comes to this right here, uh, they are they are in a good place when it comes to this. Okay. When it comes to the sick part, it ain't no issue. Let me just say that. Okay. <clears throat> this is the creativity card. Upward, when it comes to the creativity, these are two people. Let me say, I'm just say from one end real quick. You know, this is a guy, if it's upward, this is a guy, you know, is being very creative, you know, as far as making all the right moves, you know, to, to spice up the relationship, to keep the relationship just interesting, you know, as well as the female, okay, it goes both ways. But it's upside down, okay? And we know no relationship is perfect now. Everybody got little issues here. It's upside down. So there, there needs to be some creativity in that relationship. And the way I see it, a lot of times with people who have money, you, you would think that they can get real creative. I mean, they can easily just go, you know, to an island, you know, and just spend time with each other. But sometimes it takes more than just that, you know? Um, it's the little things. It's the little things. You see this picture right here? Look at that balloon ride, okay? It's the little things, going for little walks. It's the little things that mean so much, okay? And this is not really saying it's an issue in a relationship. What the Spirit is saying, He needs to spice it up. You know, make that relationship more creative. That's all. Make the relationship more creative, you know? Show her something she's never seen before. That's all I'm saying. Give her something she's never seen before. Or she never, you know what I'm saying, family. Make, make the relationship more creative. The lack of creativity. Let me just say that. What, what's going on in, in the relationship, okay? Because this is a timeline. You know, I'm sure he's doing all the same thing that she's used to. Seeing and doing. Let me just say that, okay? Hmm. Okay. So as we see, this is Selena. This is a woman right here. This is a woman right here who demands respect. She demands respect. And she carries herself to the highest regard. This is the sacred woman. But this is Selena. She's not perfect family. She's trying, okay? She's trying. She's trying to walk in her power by operating in self-love. I do sense this about her, but she also needs to demand respect as well. She needs to get to she needs to get to this place and demand respect. Don't let nobody walk over her. Don't let nobody do things that's going to make her feel some type of way. You know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? Talena needs, needs to demand respect. Become the sacred woman, okay? And this is the insight of what's going on in the relationship. Okay? And I don't know what it is that he's doing, but I, I still say, you know, sometimes, you know, if, if these men's not fully, fully over her ex now, okay? Because, you know, she's been done it with Justin. You know, she doesn't want that. And I don't want that for her. And none of us want that for her. You know, she doesn't want to become a third wheel. But anyway, I digress. She needs to definitely demand respect and she will get it. distorted masculine if many of you watch my video that i had did on fergie and her um husband josh okay 
because they have split. You know, um, this is what Josh was operating as a distorted masculine. And this is not good. Okay, I'm just saying it's not good. But people can change. We know that. All right, family. Let me just say this right here. I'm going to keep it upside down. This is a distorted masculine. What the spirit is revealing about the weekend. And I'm going to say allegedly, okay? The distorted masculine does not support the feminine. Can they change? Yes, anybody can change, okay? But it's a timeline with my reading. So keep that in mind. Some point in time in that relationship, um, the distorted masculine, and there are in the ways that matter, um, he doesn't support the divine feminine, okay, when it comes to, you know, um, emotion. Let me just say that. Um, they tend to put things up under the rug, and also they operate in power, you know, it's my way up the highway, shall I say. Um, let me just read this part right here so you get more of an understanding of what I'm saying, okay? Beware. Be aware of where the distorted masculine may be showing up in your life. Let it go with love and live a fully blessed life in the now. Okay? Here are some characteristics of a distorted masculine. Unwillingness to trust. Tending to ignore emotions. And intuition. Wanting proof of everything. And insisting on a logical or rational approach. Okay? That's it in a nutshell. Let that sink in, family. Okay? Now, is he like this now? I'm not going to say he's like this now. This is a timeline, okay? I don't know how long him or her been dating, but this is a timeline. And I'm sure when he was acting like this, you know, I'm sure, you know, that it was on and off, on and off. Because, he, you know, when you like this, uh, I hate to say it, but any woman going to stay with you like that. Or that she just truly just really just operating in lack of self-love. I'm serious. And you know I'm gonna put it with this, okay? But some do. Now, see how the timeline changing up? Emotional freedom. Emotional freedom. This is someone that they are communicating, and they can express themselves freely, okay? I'm, I always make an example like Will and Jada. You see the kind of relationship they have, you know? She has emotional freedom to express herself. Will has emotional freedom to express himself. And they, you know, um, they just let each other, you know, have the freedom to be true to thyself, express themselves. But there are additional meaning to this card, and I'd like to share that to your family, Okay. So you get more of a full understanding of the relationship that um, Selena and The Weeknd have. The emotion of freedom is liberating in its ability to embrace individuality in yourself and others, okay? You have joined this card today because deep down you still believe or fear that being in a loving relationship will compromise your spirit, your, I'm sorry, your Personal emotion freedom. No matter how much you desire love and commitment, on the one hand, there is a part of you that holds back because of this old feeling. If you are already in a relationship, it's time to acknowledge that your partner is not really limiting or suppressing you. No one can truly control you. So this card is suggesting that it is time to reclaim your power, make healthier choices for yourself, and act upon them. The emotional freedom is not about keeping secrets from your mate. You may succeed in deceiving your partner, but you cannot deceive yourself in the long run. Rather, emotional freedom is about acknowledging the Differing attitudes and perspective each um, each person holds and creating a relationship that can embrace them all, okay? Well, this is what Selena in the weekend has in their relationship, okay?
the divine masculine. The divine masculine is the weekend. So obviously, obviously, yes, obviously, he's going from being a distorted masculine. I'm sorry. Yeah, a distorted masculine to a divine masculine. Okay, a divine masculine supports the feminine. Okay, the divine masculine supports the feminine in all the ways that matter emotionally. Okay. So there has been a change in that relationship for the better. Let me just say that. Okay. This is a good omen. All right. It doesn't mean their relationship is perfect now, but this is a good omen. The fact that <clears throat> the weekend is operating as a divine masculine, okay? Selena is on cloud nine. This is the Rainbow Revere card. She's on cloud nine, family. Obviously, the, the weekend is putting the work in, okay? He is putting the work in. She's on cloud nine, okay? This is somebody that's feeling good from the inside out. It's like everything is everything, okay? She's feeling real good. She's in a good place. Let me just say that. And I sense that about her anyway. She's in a good place. And he's definitely a big help. You know, like I said, she's somebody that, you know, she's, I mean, he is somebody that she is seeing right now. And so far, she is feeling him, okay? So far, she is feeling him. Now, if she's out here putting it out there to the world, this is the one, you know, I haven't seen that yet. Maybe many, maybe many of you have. I'm not saying just going by the pictures only, you know, as far as seeing them out together. What I'm saying is as far as them both making it public. That's what I'm saying. But all I know is right now she's feeling real good from the inside out. But this is a timeline. It's a timeline, so keep that in mind now. To me, I'm seeing a lot of this. But no relationship is perfect, okay? All righty. Okay. This is upside down. This is the balance card. If everything was everything, okay, it, this card should be this card should be upward. It should be balanced in that relationship. But they still have some issues, okay? And that's rightfully so. That's normal, okay? You, you got to work out the kinks, okay, in order to get things real solid and grounded. They got some work to do. It, it, it's some um, it, they dealing with some yin and yang. Let me just say that, okay. All right, I sense this is the yin and yang card, all right? Too much masculine energy, you know, in a relationship, um, you know, you can see a lot of controlling, someone who's very controlling, okay? Um, it's pretty much his way or no way. Let me just say that. But, you know, when, you, when, he, when the masculine, you know, uh, work with the feminine, let me just say that, and bring balance, all right? It will look like this. When the feminine is working with the masculine and bring balance, okay, it will look like this. Right now, they are looking like this, okay? But like I said, this is a timeline. I want to see what the last card is saying. This is a timeline, okay? I don't want to keep babbling. I want to just read up on this card because it has additional meaning, okay, concerning the yin and the yang. But I do sense more of the unbalance more on weekend end than I do Selena, okay? That's just what I sense. But let me read up on this card, okay? So you get an understanding of what I'm talking about. Strive for harmony and balance in your inner and outer life through change, reflection, and growth. I have ears to hear, family. In an existing relationship, there may be too much yin if the female is dominant in some ways, okay? Maybe the home is too pretty and the male cannot find a place where he feels comfortable or their life has become all about the children and the sexual uh, yang energy has disappeared. If there is too much yang, now this right here is the weekend, I sense it's him. I sense there's more on his part than anything. If there is too much yang, the 
female will feel suppressed and controlled. Whatever the imbalance is, it needs to be addressed, okay? I sense it's more on his end, okay? Um, he has a characteristic, okay? Allegedly, I had to say that. He has a characteristic of being a little too controlling, okay? Um, this is about who want to hold on real, real, real tight. And when it comes to controlling, you know, uh, that's in all kind of ways, you know. Uh, it, shows up, it shows up in all kind of ways, you know. It can be more of, you know, uh, my way or the highway. It can be more of they want you all to themselves. Um, they start to, you know, single you out to where they want you with them all the time. You know, you can see it in all kind of little ways. But this is something that she's going to have to address, Okay, these are the things that the spirit are revealing behind the scenes. Whatever the case may be, okay, there is some imbalance showing up in that relationship. Okay. Now Selena has been been there and done that when it came to Justin. And I also, the more I'm talking, I'm sensing that um the weekend he is her twin flame, not her soulmate. I'm sensing he's her twin flame. Your soulmate is somebody who gets you and they're not trying to change you. Okay, it's your other half. You know, y'all just click okay um i don't sense that about him i i sense that he is her, her twin flame but not her soulmate let me just say that let me also read this little part right here you have drawn this card today so that you can consider the levels of yin and yang in your life and make adjustments where necessary make the acquired changes in your behavior and environment and even your wardrobe. So basically, it needs to be some kind of change, okay? Uh, wherever the, the problem lies with the unbalance in that relationship, then it, it needs to be addressed, all right? It needs to be addressed. Or it's going to become an issue. Or it's going to become an issue. This card popped up for a reason. Hmm, I wonder where does this come from? Forgiveness. Forgiveness. It was upside down. Do there needs to be forgiveness on Selena in on the weekend in? I'm gonna read up on this card. I feel the need to. Okay, family, I'm sensing with this card right here, it, this is more on Selena in, okay? This is more on Selena in. Um, she needs to forgive herself. I do sense that she's working on self-love, okay? But what also comes with that is loving yourself and forgiving yourself, okay? From the past, especially, you know, looking back on her life as far as, you know, uh, all that she's been through. You know, the heartache with her past relationships, all the things she's put up with, okay? That she really didn't have to put up with. Let me just say that. <clears throat> Let me read up on this card right here. But I'm sensing this is more on Selena in, okay? And this is part of her healing, okay? Let go, letting go and moving forward. When you forgive yourself and others, you create more spare for light and love to flow in so not only is this she needs to get to that place of to be able to move forward she needs to heal by forgiving herself and forgive the past forgive the past even if it includes J justin which played a big part of her life forgive him he's moved on he's married and no matter how you know he may feel about her that's really none of her concern because he's married at the end of the day he is married And he's chose the person he wanted to be with. But this is something Selena needs to do um, while she's moving forward, operating in self-love. She needs to heal as well. Um, forgive herself as well as her past, okay? Letting go of these old energies is a relief. And as this darkness disappears, it creates space for more light and love to flow in. So the more you use... Well, it has a mantra here, but anyway... 
pretty much the more she speaks life over herself and she say, I love myself and I forgive myself as well as, you know, she forgive those who, who has hurt her as well as Justin, those that um, have affected and caused pain to her in the past. She needs to forgive, okay? It could help her to heal and to be able to move forward and, and it will keep her from looking back so much, okay? She can move forward more positively and whoever she gets with, she can give them her all. So this is really Selena, okay? It's not the weekend, this is her. The next card is Life Purpose. I'm going to read up on this card real quick. Your own natural intuition and the genuine wisdom of your heart is here to guide you. You have drawn this card today because the universe would like you to experience yourself as love so that you can feel your higher self purpose firsthand. Trust that love is not a Trust that love is not an external thing that you must find and keep. It is unlimited and always within you. At the deepest level of your existence, loving and being loved is a major part of your life purpose. We feel it within us all the time as our soul calls for deeper connection and meaningful expression of the most powerful force in the universe, love. Okay, this is Selena. This is the revelation that she is getting, okay? Remember, my readings have a timeline to them. Keep this in mind, okay? This right here is called the distorted female, okay? Upward, this is a female that feels heartbroken. This is a female that feels like a victim. Woe is me. This is a, this is a female that feels you know, um, how can I say this? She feels she's lacking self-worth. Let me just say that. Okay. She feels distraught. But it was upside down. This is the last card. According to the spirit. Okay. And remember my last card I did with my reading before this one that I did on Selena Gomez. Okay, keep that last card in mind. You know what? I'm going to read up on this card. I'm Selena is feeling the opposite of this distorted female. She's feeling the opposite of this. This is, this is a good omen, okay, based on this relationship. All right? Is, is the weekend the one? Time would tell, but this is a good omen. I'm going to read up on this card real quick, family, because it has additional meanings. All right, family, real quick. Cause in the present, let me just say, as this timeline moves, Selena is going to be here, okay? And her relationship with the weekend, okay? As far as how she feels about herself, let me just say that. Check this out, a distorted feminine. I think the characteristic of a distorted feminine negative emotion, depression, neediness, a sense of going around in circles, or need for pointless drama, feeling unattractive, or being trapped and powerless. Selena is going to get to this point. She's not going to be feeling that anymore, okay? I can't speak about the future, but as far as this timeline, she's going to get to here, okay? 
It is time to recognize the distorted feminine in your life. Release these negative patterns and live fully and happily in the present. Okay? This is Selena. She's going to get to that point of living fully and happily in the present. Okay? And I'm sure she's doing that now. All right? Living fully and happy in the present. Because, see, I haven't really been following her like that. Um, I do know in the past she has been dating this person, dating this person, you know, once she stopped, you know, food with Justin and there's nothing wrong with that. But, you know, in the present, you know, she's dating the guy that's known as Weekend, okay? And she's on cloud nine, okay? She's on cloud nine. Has there been issues in the relationship? Um, yes, there have been. I don't know what he was doing. I don't know if he's going back and forth with his past ex or whatever. <clears throat> but it was an issue with self-respect. Okay? There, there needs to be self-respect. Okay? He was operating as a distorted masculine. Okay? He no longer is doing that. Now he's operating as a divine masculine, okay? And this is one who supports you in all the ways that matter. So could he be the one? Yes, he could be the one. But it's not for me to say that. It's for Selena to say that, okay? So if any of you want to go by just the pictures, the pics of them smiling and hugging, that's fine. But at the end of the day, these two needs to put it out there one day, you know, this is what it is, okay? And they might not, you know, uh, they might want to keep their relationship private. You know, they might be more like, you know, what you see is what you get, you know. Go figure. But I do not sense that he is her soulmate, and that's okay. I do sense that he is her um, twin flame, all right? I do sense that. And... If there have been some tension in that relationship, okay, uh, the lack of uh, balance, okay, the lack of harmony as far as too much yin, too much yang, and I don't think they're living together. I don't know too much about that. Maybe many of you do, but they're not living together. It won't be more on her end. It's more on his end, okay? Uh, I'm sensing, you know, he probably could have came off a little too strong, uh, operating, controlling, okay? But that's for her to address. She has to address that because she, if she doesn't, he's not going to change. He is not going to change. And if they have to get married, it's going to get worse. So as long as he, you know, they bring balance, they communicate and bring balance in this area, you know, um, yeah, it, it could possibly work. Okay. For the long haul, it could possibly work. Okay. Let me just say that. And I'm going to say it again, allegedly, I do sense, you know, um, if they keep this up, <laughs> if they keep this up, she's on cloud nine, okay? He's he's operating in being a divine masculine, being there for her in all the ways that matter, giving her what she needs, this is her. If they keep this up, we might end up hearing some celebration news, okay? Like the last card I did in my last reading. Three of water, okay? This speaks about celebration, okay? Y'all remember that? A celebration, a wedding, graduation, or birth announcement, the need to have more fun, okay? Don't forget about this card. You never know. You never know. Time will tell. And please know nothing is set in stone because people are going to change their mind. But from what I'm seeing, I wish them all the best. She seems to be very happy with this guy right here. So we'll see. Let's keep her in our prayers. And um, I thank you for watching, family. My next video will be on Justin Beaver, okay? For those of you who have requested that, that would be next. So be on the lookout for that. Once again, you us a thumb up. Please like, share, and subscribe. And um, let's wish this couple all the best. Thank you for watching. Much love.